All right, we're gonna try the Fortec 2.0 on 2S LiPo with the onboard GPS. I'm using the Nokia phone with an app. I did add an ESC cooling fan and it's on the 28 tooth pinion, 72 spur, 2S LiPo. And uh, we're gonna try and uh, do a speed test here in this long parking lot. So what we can do on 2S and then I'll try and get a reading on 3S. All right, let's go and try and get some speed test, top speed footage. Ah, uh, I've already gone off. Good start. All right, let's try again. Here we go. Fully wound out. All right. That was definitely wound out on 2S. Curious to see. All right. I don't know if you can see this, but we got 73. 73 kilometers an hour, which is miles per hour, 45, 45 miles an hour on 2S. So let's put a 3S battery in it real quick and see what we can get out of that. Now we're gonna try it with my 3S. Parking power, 35 to 70 discharge. Okay, I'm gonna reset the speed time. Reset, top speed in KPH, I'll go back to KPH. Back on KPH. S. First time I've ever driven, driven it on 3S. And the tires are just about totally gone. I have very little traction, but we'll try it anyway. See what we get out of it. Here we go. 28 tooth pinion, 72 spur, 3S LiPo with the Castle Creations 5700 kV brushless system. Okay. Let's give it a try. 3S LiPo test. Here we go. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> wow, out of control. Don't have the traction, but we'll try. I'll have to really feed it in slow, I think. There's a wicked pull to it. Okay, here we go. Feeding it in slow. Just spins right out. Just spins right out. Now I don't have the traction. That's the problem. You get up that kind of speed, you just don't have the traction. Here we go. Coming down. Full throttle. Whoa! Can't can't do full throttle. You just can't. And the phone flew out. <laughs> uh, yeah, the phone flew out. Well, what did we get? 78 kph or 48. Because it just spins right out. Okay, let's try that again. Still has a pull to it. Ugh, wasn't paying attention. That's what's bad about on-road, is that you gotta have the perfect surface. All right, let's try it again. Ooh, whoops. 
<laughs> that was cool. I just had a speed bump. Poor Ford GT body. Oh. Yuck. Whoops. Ninety-seven, amazing. Ninety-seven. You see that? Where's my shadow? Ninety-seven kph. Let's see if I can get a better run here. That's sixty miles an hour. It's sixty miles an hour. Okay, on three S lipo. You know, seventy-two spur. That's pretty good. I did lose a body pin. Um, that might be an issue. I'm gonna try one more time. One more time. Okay, here we go. One more time. Let's try and hit 100. No cars. Here we go. Flying down. Full throttle. Full throttle. Try it again. Ah, that's what happened last time. All right, those speed bumps, I don't have control. I'm happy with 60 miles an hour, but uh, it'd be nice if we could hit 100 kph. Let's go take it back to the car and see. I'm gonna call it there. Look at the damage. Oh, oh, so much for my nice Ford GT body. Oh well. It's now a speed run body now, although it's not particularly good at that because of its rear section, which collects all of the air. I've seen some people that are doing 100 miles an hour runs take the rear end off. But I don't wanna do that to this body Although I have kind of sacrificed it now. What do you think? Do you think we broke 100? I wonder. Ooh, that just won't stay there. Let's see if we broke 100. That'd be so awesome if we did. I'd be happy with that. Nope. 97. 97 kph because I didn't reset it, so it's, that's where it topped out. Exactly 60 miles an hour. Yep. All right, so that's what we got, was 60 miles an hour, or 97 kph. That's as much as I could get out of it with no traction. All right. Thanks for watching.